Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance, and in this video, we're covering how to use the custom grid layout for your elements when you're designing in Breakdance. To get started, you're going to need a container element or a parent element that can accept child elements. Once you have that element added to the page, if you go to the Layout tab in the Properties panel on the left side of the screen, you will see different layout options. When you select the Advanced Layout option, you will see two different display choices, flex or grid. In this example, we're going to select the grid display setting. Once this setting is enabled, you will have a variety of different options to customize the grid exactly how you wish. In this scenario, we're going to start out with a simple grid that has an auto setting for the row and repeats three frames on the columns. You'll see this creates a very nice basic layout and you can start customizing it with some gap settings and some row gap settings to change your spacing. You can also choose to justify the items, to align the items, to justify the content, to align the content, and some other features as well. Please note that some of these settings may not impact your layout and you may not see anything change in Breakdance. That is due to either the design of the child elements or the amount of space available within each frame. With the custom grid settings, we can further customize the layout of our child elements using a variety of different features and options available to us. To get started, we're going to select the Destination Weddings box, go to the settings, and add a new CSS line called Grid Row. This will make it so that our Destination Weddings area now takes up two rows and one column worth of content. We're also going to do the same with our Family Vacations box. We're going to go into the settings and we're going to add a new CSS setting that sets the Family Vacations box to display on two columns. We're also going to do the same with the Cruises box. Next, we're going to go back to the Family Vacations box and change the width to 80%. We will also do this with the Honeymoons box. With these adjustments enabled, if we now go back to our grid layout, we'll see that when we change some of these settings, it will impact the way all our elements look. So if we justify items at the start or the end, we can see that our 80% boxes now move over to the left and right accordingly. They stay in the center and they stretch. The same with align items. We can start, we can end, we can center them. We can also stretch them so now it takes up the full space. The same options will work for justify content and that'll also work for align content. The grid settings are also responsive. So we can set our grid items to only repeat once or we can repeat them twice or however we choose. 